Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's not the end of the game. Oh, yeah, that Reapers, what's is good? It's your boy Laser. You guys are in the visor back with another scary reaction video. He's on the scary content. So I can deliver that for you guys. This video right here is some scary ghost videos by Nukes Top 5. Those top 5 videos, guys, are absolutely scary. If you guys enjoy the scary content, you're more scary as like this in the future, is that we hit that like button, you subscribe, and turn notifications on only takes less than a second. Let's dive straight into this video. Nukes Top 5, here we go, bro. This is be scary shit. Phantom. Sort of man. Night, around 3 a.m., a family in Florida is alarmed when the ring video camera detects movement in their backyard. When they check the footage, things take a very creepy turn. How big of a turn? Is that a ladybug, bro? Looks like a giant ass ladybug. Oh, shit. Ooh, my timbers are shivered, guys. I'm absolutely shaking right now. I'm about to have a panic attack. Oh, my God. Like, what the fuck is that, bro? Like, I know there's a ghost figure, but are we not gonna talk about the fucking ladybug in the middle? Like, what the fuck is that? The hammock in their backyard flips over as what looks to be an eerie smoke-like figure seems to fly right through it. Now, normally I would try to take a closer look at this and find some simple explanation for a capture like this. Smoke, mist, a bug on the lens, and so on. But this strange figure seems to hold its shape and appears to have a face, torso, and two outstretched arms as it floats along and out of sight. Even creepier, it then seems to return and can be seen moving in the other direction further down in the backyard. It's like a giant beetle in the now, middle, bro. if it was the wind and just smoke or mist, then surely it would have changed form as it moved or dissipated completely. And also the hammock moving as the figure passes through it is just weird. So is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. No, bro. Don't look up. Japanese paranormal investigator Takeuchi from the YouTube channel Takeuchi Camera sets out to investigate a long abandoned house that at one time was flooded and partially submerged. And they still he has have no idea story. what happened to the owners of the house or why it was left abandoned. Probably because it got so, flooded? Takeuchi immediately finds it extremely odd that there are no stairs leading up to the house's attic. He brings in a ladder so that he can investigate the inaccessible upper floor. Takeuchi climbs the ladder with his camera and takes a peek into the attic. What happens next is truly terrifying. Come on, man. You're trying to give me a heart attack already, dude. I know these abandoned places smell like crap, dude. Like, I can't imagine how bad they smell. Imagine the ladder just trips. What am I looking at? Are those teapots? Looks like teapots, bro. Uh, I see a bunch of debris everywhere and shit. Oh no. What the fuck is that? You see how that's fucking dingling sound, bro? All those toes, nasty. I'm terrified right now. What the fuck were those feet, though, dude? <sighs> <sighs> Takeuchi's camera captures two extremely pale, childlike feet standing on the upper attic floor. Yes, no. But as the investigator climbs up, he doesn't appear to see anything with his own naked eye. No, bro. And when he pans the camera back around, the creepy little feet have disappeared. I wonder why. I wonder While why. Looking through the attic, the light on his camera suddenly turns off. この屋根裏部屋にね。その、なんて言うんですか。お。お、stop 
He can't see shit. He doesn't have any resources with him anymore. Well, he does, but... What's he gonna do if the ladder falls? Oh, dude. Do not turn the light on. Stop flicking the lights on and off, man. Stop, man. Don't turn them back on. Don't turn them back on. Oh, come on. No. No. Go home, bro, please. With an unreliable light, Takeuchi decides to just end his investigation right then. I would have done the same but thing. Did you see it? I saw it, right? After sitting in the darkness for a bit, Takeuchi's light comes back on for about two seconds and those same pale unexplained legs can be seen again this time moving quickly out of sight the investigator had no idea what he had captured until he reviewed his footage later at home so did Takeuchi capture the spirit of whoever used to live in the creepy abandoned house could the previous owners have met a tragic fate during a dangerous flood let me know what you think you can watch this entire terrifying investigation over on the YouTube channel, Takeuchi Camera. I should never saw that, dude. Good night, visitors. I should never saw this. This next shit. video is a bit of a mystery as there is no source. The only info I found is that the footage was allegedly captured by a residential security camera somewhere in Vietnam. So, a woman hears strange sounds coming from outside her home. She goes to check out the odd noises, and this is when things start to get really weird don't go out there bro i just saw a little midget run away bro what the fuck was that i mean i'm a midget myself but holy shit they want to steal that fucking bike bro that ghost wants to steal the bike a small figure about the height of a toddler can be seen running off into the shadows but another small figure can be spotted just outside the gate it's again, no. it is, seems to throw some kind of dust or sand over the fence at the confused and horrified woman. Now, it's unknown what is thrown, and without a source, it's impossible to know just what the hell is going on here. But viewers of the video believe that the woman had an encounter with some kind of small creatures. No, bro. Or possibly even spirits. But what do you think? Let me know. We need scary videos. So if you oh, see bro. anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at Nuke's Top Five. I'm not gonna make it through this whole video, guys. I'm not gonna make it through this whole video. Come on, man. Over the last five years, Kent Burris has made it his mission to document and record everything abnormal that happens in his home, the Lamb House in Carmel, Maine. Kent says that his house is haunted by multiple spirits who regularly make themselves known through banging, bizarre EVPs and often even manifesting as visible apparitions. Oh, oh, come on. Was that? Now, I've featured Ghost of Carmel Maine on Nuke's Top 5 many times through the years, so if you're a regular viewer, the channel should seem familiar. So, one afternoon after Ken has just come home from work, his grandson starts to complain that there are strange noises coming from upstairs. Just in case, Kent grabs his camera as he goes to investigate. The text that you just woke up. Next is absolutely oh, they're playing unreal. Fortnite, bro. They're getting those victory royales while their house is being haunted. Nice. They have a fucking horse toy? What the fuck was that? I'm not even gonna... I can't see shit right now. Ooh! As no. Ken is about to step inside the upstairs no. bedroom, a dark figure leaps out toward him, and then the bedroom door just slams shut on its own. One more time, Nancy. Ken that. believes that it was his wife who slammed the door, possibly was because wife? she no was way. getting dressed and didn't want to be on camera. Kind of he goes back that, downstairs girl? where his grandson tells him that his wife isn't in that bedroom at all. But in a completely different room. No, I thought that was you up in the bedroom. Sorry. Kent confirms that his wife isn't in the bedroom, and then he goes back upstairs to find an explanation for the door slamming in his face. Nah, bro. 
Nah, bro. Stop with the shit. Stop with the shit, bro. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this, bro. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. I just see pitch black right now. Just pitch black. Did Nothing you else. see it? I saw what it appears right. to be the same dark shadow figure can be seen inside the bedroom as Kent pans around the room. But when Kent flips the light on, there's nobody there. So did Kent capture even more paranormal evidence in his home? I leave that up to you to decide. I hate this. You can watch all of Kent's captures and recordings over on his YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. I hate this, bro. I hate Creeper. this. Shit. Oh no, Creeper and his family are spending some fun family time together on the Cerro de la Silla mountain in the city of Monterrey, Mexico. Is Creeper gonna blow up the house? Then shit? something very weird happens. Creeper gonna blow up the house or some shit? Oh, there's something just walking, bro, lurking in the darkness. It's ready to creep up on all those motherfuckers, dude. It's ready to creep up on all those motherfuckers. Cut down the swing, bro. <laughs> Cut down that fucking swing. That was fine. That's <laughs> fucked up. Why would I say that? Dude, there's casually just like a whole ass cryptid just walking behind him, dude. A whole ass cryptid just walking past him. They didn't see it. They're just having fun with the swing set. The family they didn't see or hear anything at the time, and they have no idea who or what this mysterious figure is or what the person was doing. You tell Whoever me. Whoever or whatever it is appears to be watching the family, being careful about maneuvering around in the dark so as not to be seen. So the question is, is this a paranormal event caught on camera? Or worse, is it a person? A person creepily watching the family from the edge of the darkness. Both is creepy because you it's still decide. like a stalker. It could be a stalker or like a name bro. This next video was sent by Yitzhak whatever. Five viewer Shahar from Israel. Shahar says in her email that one Israel. night she and her friends were hanging out in the woods near her house, just having fun and filming some random videos. Then something very odd happens that they still can't explain to this day. Bro, Israel is small as shit. <laughs> Dude, there was like a whole ass ghost that just went past them. There was a whole ass ghost that just went past them, bro. The three friends are completely unaware as a strange translucent white figure seems to float right by them. The of course, the shit would happen, bro. Of course, the shit would happen in Israel, considering like I know what it's like in Israel since like. I've been there before. It's a dark, shadowy figure off to the right. They all look and they see what they just. Like, I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but it's a like black shadow running off into the woods. Israel's lucky haunted. Shahar here, explains you know? that the white figure caught on camera earlier was moving in the same direction where they spotted the black shadow a moment later. When they play back the footage, the group is pretty freaked out. I'm freaked out just watching the camera this, and just head home. I'm freaked out just Schools watching this shit. Out. Popular urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore the old Robert Fulton Elementary School in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, the school on. was built back in 1929, and after a decline in student enrollments, it eventually closed in 2011. Why do people gotta explore these haunted ass schools? Chris finds a way inside the old school. He plans to capture on video the remains of what used to be a stunning historic interior. Come on, bro. But almost immediately, Chris starts to find signs that he might not be alone inside the abandoned school. Bro, I can't imagine all the glass on the ground. A sweet tea bottle? I don't know what that is. Are those noodles, bro? Is this was eating ramen noodles? Ah, uh, homeless people, yeah. Can't imagine, like, dude. Fuck, bro. That's just time to leave the fucking school, bro. Is that a gasoline tank right there? I'm looking right at that door, dude. I feel like a hand's just As gonna Chris creep continues out. to explore the massive building, he definitely starts to suspect that there might be someone else inside. You suspect, or do you know? Like, 
Oh, there's a vinyl right there. This will make a good thumbnail. Angel. Stop, bro. Don't go towards that way. Go any other direction but that way, you know? Dude, are those eyes just staring the fuck at him? Y'all see those eyes right there. I'm not tripping. I thought I saw fucking eyes. It's barricaded for a reason, my boy. Chris finds a door that seems to have been blocked off with no way to enter. So the explorer finds a way around it by entering through the classroom next door. And this is when things take a terrifying turn. He's not gonna have like, he's only gonna have one way to get out since he went the other direction. Bro, is that a bottle with fucking blood in it? Keep out. There's only a keep out and you go in there. Are you blind, bro? Are you asking for the demon to suck you off or some shit? Bro, is he fucking rolling in there? Yeah, somebody's been... That ghost was rolling, bro. Look at that. In there? Is that fucking... Spice been living in here. Is that fucking spice, bro? I can't tell. Oh, hell no. Nah. The ghost smoking that synthetic shit, bro. No, bro. No, 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 no. I'm kind of too, man. Oh, fuck, no. Get the fuck out of there, dude. I'm telling you, bro, those homeless people in these abandoned places, they be, they don't be playing. They be crazy. Chris gets a little too close to someone that seems to be hiding in one of the rooms inside the school. Chris makes a run for it, and luckily the stranger doesn't seem to follow. Says to keep out for a reason. That's not all that happened during Chris's exploration. Because not long after he entered the abandoned building, he captured something on camera that he didn't even see at the time. Did I miss it? I didn't see it. I just heard a sound effect meaning they just saw it. I didn't see it, bro. All the way in the back of the hallway, someone can oh, be seen on. walking into one of the classrooms. It's a homeless person, After bro. watching the footage back, Chris now wonders if he was being watched and followed by some creeper the entire time that he was inside the school. Homeless people would be saying And him, once again, this is why I always say real people are way scarier than anything paranormal. You can watch this entire exploration and many more over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. The oh, unwanted bro. roommate. Because homes you go, bro, they can have weapons and shit. Who zero? Scary the ghost. When Poland. it comes to these places. But soon after he got settled in, he says that he began to experience strange poltergeist activity. These are a few of the scarier encounters that he was able to capture. So, one night, Who Zero is startled from his sleep. Startled from his sleep, huh? His door is just casually being banged on, bro. It's been happening for half an hour and he hasn't done anything about it? Oh, tattoos fire, though. Who Zero goes to check a violent pounding at the door, but there's no one there. His bedroom door slams shut behind him, and when he opens the door again, a chair that had been sitting all the way behind the door frame violently slides across the floor right in front of him. Bro, that pattern on Up the floor was night. nice. And Who Zero is once again not getting any rest in his haunted apartment. Hey, ogólnie, to od jakiegoś czasu cały czas. Dude, like. The idea of being able to sleep with all this shit happening in my place? No, bro. That's the instant move out. Put the house up. Fucking sale.
I just need shoes. Is I can just come out, bro, and come out of the screen and kill me or some shit? Like, I don't know what's about to happen. I'm about to find out, though. Don't go near that door, bro. Don't touch it, bro. Oh, come on, man. Come on, bro. Don't do this to me. Trying to give me a fucking heart attack, man. I ain't gonna make it, bro. Well, I mean, we're on like number three. Two more videos have to sit there. A bottle in the hallway smashes to the ground. The lights flash, and when Who's Zero goes to check, the bathroom faucet is just running on its own. Even creepier, the light in the hall mysteriously seems to just keep turning off, and the bathroom door slowly creaks open by itself. At this point, Who Zero has started to get fed up with the strange paranormal activity in his apartment. But it's about to get even worse. How does it get Who's even Zero worse? Who Zero decides to like... just lock his door and try to ignore the noises in his hallway, watching a movie on his laptop. But whatever is in the apartment does not seem to like it at all. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Bro, you better take your TV or whatever with you and go to, like, I don't know, a substation and get the fuck out of that city, you know? Or drive away, you feel me? However you got here. Hey! Hey, at least you got the ghost stuff. <laughs> he got more men. The doorknob to the room can actually be seen moving. But when Who Zero ignores the knocking, the pounding on the wood becomes violent. And now it's a little later the same night, and the pounding on the door comes back yet again. Who Zero has had enough. He decides to charge out into the hallway to confront whatever is there. It did not go well. Didn't go well, huh? How is this shit still going, bro? How has this guy not realized that staying here is like clearly not the best idea? What the f what the f Whoa. Hey bro, get your shit and fucking dip the fuck out of there. What the f All hell breaks loose and Who Zero runs back to his bedroom to escape. But his recording cuts short just as his own bedroom door slams shut right in his face. Now, locking him out. I hate this. Since these videos were recorded, username Who Zero has deleted his TikTok account. He deleted. Rumors he around the internet maintain that the activity in his apartment only got worse, and he just decided to move out. That boy gone. It is claimed that Who Zero deleted his TikTok page because he believed that the negative energy from the videos might follow him to his new home. That boy gone. Home. But everything's on the internet forever. Again. That is all just rumor. So are these videos real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You tell me, man. You decide. Guess in the graveyard. Oh shit, number Our two. paranormal investigator Frank from the YouTube channel Franco TV travels abroad to, I subscribe, Peru I'm subscribed to investigate this guy, bro. an allegedly I think severely I haunted cemetery. I'm really subscribed to this the site guy. is located in a very dangerous area of the city, so it's not surprising that Frank is a little nervous to be there. He keeps his eyes open for any suspicious activity, especially any dangerous people. It's dark out and getting very late when Frank begins his investigation. Seen it like a cemetery? It's not long before he spots exactly what he was afraid of. Oh, you see, he's in like a cemetery right now. This is a big ass cemetery, bro. Oh, there's like a whole cold going on over there, bro. So cold, dude. 
Oh, like, bro, imagine just going to a ghost. I don't like, know if they're visiting someone or what. Imagine going to a cemetery, dude. Have to get a little bit closer. And seeing this shit. Are they something fucking. I don't know. Are they somebody Michael Jackson back from the dead or some shit, dude? Like, what the fuck is going on? Right now, I'm hiding with behind a tomb area. The location where I was just at is further way up there. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but uh, it's just way up there. It's not. But I'm not seeing any signs of movement. They're still there in the dark. I'm just kind of waiting here. Wait, I got movement over there. Look, they're leaving. They see you, bro. It's to your toes. They probably were just saying goodbye to someone, I don't know, but that late at night is kind of weird, you know? A group of people seem to perform some kind of odd cryptic okay, ritual no, that's inside creepy. the graveyard. That's fucking creepy. You After see his hands? finally leave, Franco checks out the spot where the group had gathered. He discovers what looks like a voodoo doll along with candles and other seemingly Ooh, I do not claim, objects. I do not claim this thing about But then, strangely, Franco suddenly begins to hear the sound of laughter coming from somewhere amongst the graves. What happens next is downright chilling. Bro, guys, I'm fucking. Please give me like a tissue for the tears I'm about to make. A fear. I'm not making it through this video, and there's like one more video after. This. Oh come on, bro! Don't go towards it. Hola. He just said, "What's up to that motherfucker?" Hola. I'm ready for the jump scare, bro. You can't fool me. What was that? You cannot fucking fool me, bro. Hola. Dude, this is your sign to fucking leave. Holy. I literally saw something peeking out at me right over here. Leave the fucking place, my boy. Someone can be seen staring at Frank from behind a mausoleum. No. Nope. When he quickly hurries over to check, there's no one there. I'm gonna wish I did. Horrified by what he just experienced, Franco no longer feels safe and decides to just call it a night. Good. Bro. Now, could it be that this terrifying encounter had something to do with the unknown ritual that the strange group performed? And are the stories true that the cemetery is truly haunted? I wish I did see Let this. Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Franco TV. I wish I didn't see this, bro. Sighting. Oof, here we go, number one. One seemingly ordinary night a few weeks ago, the Las Vegas? Vegas Police Department received oh. a very bizarre emergency phone call. An audibly upset young man related a very frightening encounter that was allegedly taking place right in his own backyard. There's like an eight-foot person beside it. And another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us. She knew Area 51? Okay, where is this on your property? That boy's on uh, Area 51 right now, bro. Is it, I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually weird. So there's two, we terrify, but... so there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're like okay. eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes, okay. like... Like, I can't explain it. Well, the 911 uh, operator probably thinks, they're trying nah, to no way. They have to take it serious. And they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. Las Vegas resident Angel frantically calls 911 after he and his brother hear something huge fall from the sky and land right in their backyard. The impact is so loud that it actually creates an audible shockwave. The two brothers then find tall creatures they can only describe as, well, aliens. No, I mean, you're in now, Vegas, normally the bro. police would consider such a crazy call to be nothing more than a prank. I ain't no but prank. police officer Evelyn from the Las Vegas Police Department actually sees and captures something on her body camera that makes the officers take the call much more seriously. That ain't no prank, bro. Hey, bro. Oh, that's some UFO alien type shit. I'm gonna be hiding with 
I'm sorry, this footage got released, bro. An unidentified object emitting green light falls from the sky above Las Vegas just before Angel and his family call 911. I'm surprised this footage got released. So, two Las Vegas patrol officers respond to the call. Uh, Damn, bro, this is like a whole body cam right footage. I have butterflies, bro. Everyone saw a shitty star, then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. Oh, they're trying to follow it, dude. But they ain't gonna find that shit, no way. No chance. That's cool, that, bro, that's... This is very cool yeah, anchor shit. Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, me and him saw it. What'd you see? It was like a... It was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long time feet tall. I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Like, Did you see anything like land in see. your backyard? Or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. Can we go that side? I want to stay together. Yeah, yeah, we can go look. Can see that. Not any, do any dogs or anything? No, no please take me care because these kids are not gonna let me sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. I wouldn't be sleeping either. <laughs> Bro, that's creepy. No, fuck no. Dude, people I, see I, stuff I, all the time, man. It could be real. You never know. By the way, I like the shirt, though. Thank you, dude. That boy E.T. landed, bro. What I saw right now, I do believe it. I got scared. Like, but E.T. Uh, wasn't tall like really, that. You guys seem legit scared, so I don't blame you. Did you see it? No? I'm kind of curious now. I want to I know if there's aliens. I was with the iPhone. I say, let me, I, I want this. It was like, oh, like, the Camaro, like, bro? That's a nice where, ass car. Where did they go? Well, they see that. I'm going to show you. Do you have a dirt backyard? Can you show me if there's a... Now the backyard has Oof. been blurred out from the police body cam footage before release. And the police say that this is for, quote, privacy reasons. And uh, I'm not gonna put on a full tinfoil hat for this. I wonder why it was released. I've never seen police footage blurred out like this. Clearly they're when hiding the residents right? have already given permission. They're hiding it. No uh, way. Who knows? No way they're, anyway, they're hiding that shit. The officer doesn't find anyone or anything on the family's property. Bullshit. They now, blurred it out. Everything that has transpired that night, the two officers nothing. are a little freaked out. Maybe they did. But they still crack a few jokes with the family before leaving. All right, man. We appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see I anything to else. I want find okay? some aliens. I know. <laughs> Legit, bro. Well, wait. If those nine-foot beings come back into your backyard, you call the police and we'll come back here. Okay? No, hey. If those, if those, if those yeah. nine-foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> that, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> Hell, man. This strange story was picked up by the local news and went absolutely viral as millions of viewers watched the footage and wondered whether extraterrestrial beings had crash-landed into this Las Vegas Why did they backyard? blur the body cam, though? They, I mean, but I don't the know. The story goes even deeper. There's because more? there were multiple eyewitness reports. And homeowner Jessica Germana shared her ring camera footage that also captured the bizarre object falling from the sky. Holy shit. No way. So, like, other people got this shit too. Or is this the same one? I don't know. I'm Since telling the you. The original bro. news report went real. viral. Angel has went public and shared his story on YouTube and social media, along with a video that his brother took shortly before calling 911. Nah, that's terrifying. Now Angel claims that they could see a tall, skinny, alien-like creature behind the forklift. And many viewers of the footage swear that they can see a creature hiding in the darkness in this video. Where about? Let's slow it down. And I want you to look at the lower right in the fence. You see. Oh, it's like hands, there. dude. And at first, I thought it was shadows. But as you look closer, you can actually see there are three points. There's sort of a triangle. And there's actually something you can see it's breaching the fence it's, it's like hands hand. nah look out beyond the section i highlight here you can see a sort of a shadow gets smaller like it's getting behind that forklift and then a light turning on or an eye or whatever it is but uh, i honestly don't see anything here other than maybe some heavy video compression and uh, flashlight shadows 
However, the family's reaction does seem genuine, and they seem to be terrified of something they're seeing nope. in their backyard. <laughs> it was it was a real bro. Along with the captured footage of the object falling from the sky at the exact same time, it does make you wonder just what happened that night. That's Is it crazy. aliens? Or just some crazy sh Let me know what you think. <laughs> Never does know what so to much say. To That's crazy. From well, guys, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, do you think those aliens were real? Do you guys think that was some crazy-ass prank? I think, personally, that was real, because there was, like, different footages of it. But if you guys enjoyed the scary content, you want more scary things in the future, you just know what to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! <laughs>